Okay, here we are a year later. It's now June 07. I've had my plant drive kit installed. I'm about to make some uh, modifications to it. I am going to move the Raycor filter that's behind the Vormax there. There's a little 2 micron Raycor filter. I'm basically going to move that up to the front. I'm going to leave the Vormax where it's at. And then I'm going to move it up to here in the engine compartment. Still haven't decided officially where it's going to go. Uh, I'm going to wrap it in aluminum. Make kind of like a heater jacket for it. That aluminum underneath that little uh, pump right there, hand pump there. And at the same time I'm going to add this heater exchange. This is an additional heater exchange. Just because I don't like having the heater exchange all the way in the trunk. That way the Vormax will act like a, uh, a filtering agent and a preheater because this heater is going to be in the engine compartment very close to where at the point of injection and I'm also going to add three of these hydro force valves what that will allow me to do is ha to, to have a loop and also be able to purge back to the purge the oil from the system back to the vegetable oil tank and not dump it into my diesel as it does now and there's a Pollock on, on there back there that I'm going to uh, disconnect there's some heater elements I add it to the plant drive kit. Okay, so here we are. It's the next day. I haven't really gotten far the very first day, but here's the Pollock and the uh, harness of wires that were down there. Here's the, uh, that's just a splice to make a, I had, link, had a length in a hose or something. Oh, I think from one of the temp sender installations. Uh, there's the T for the loop and there's the temp sender. Now, my temp sender is currently on the return line. Uh, I just thought that would be sort of the least would register the lowest point uh, at a measuring point if that makes any sense rather than having it in line before the veg therm. I'm gonna go ahead and move this install I think a three port here a three port here for the you know the in and then the out and then I think I'm gonna put a three port here to create my loop or no loop option. Um, I went ahead and wrapped I haven't put the flare fittings on it yet, but there's the wrap for the uh, 2 micron ray core. And then the first thing I did after I, well I drained that radiator flow, but I didn't need to do that for this, but uh, what I did was I removed the ray core from the back, which was here, and I replaced this one hose, because this hose went into the ray core and then went out of the ray core, so rather than put a splice in there, I put a new piece of hose, and I ended up putting the um, the uh, R9 which is the fuel injection quality hose because uh, there's been some discussion that eventually some people feel that um, even though the bulk of the system I use the R7 which is basically fuel line but there is a consensus that eventually the, the vegetable oil will eventually eat away at that and really the only thing it's safe for is uh, Viton, Viton which is what the R9 I believe it's SA something R09 is the rating for the tubing. So I had a piece of that laying around so I figured I'd install that. But So basically the rear of the car is kind of done. Uh, I just left it out because I have to test I want to test the, the, the fitting before I you know pack it away and make sure it doesn't leak. I was debating whether to maybe leave the Pollock just because it's going to be a huge deal to kind of time consuming to redo all this stuff. But I figure the benefit is is that I will be able to put the the, the hot oil coming out of the heater exchange with, which theoretically will be here will go much quicker into the engine rather than going through the Pollock and I was a little concerned about the longevity of the Pollock. Some people have had problems with it getting so uh, hot and that it would fail. Okay here we are the next day. Um, I don't do much work as you can tell but I've basically got most of the plumbing done. After this will be the oil but there was a splice I made back here previously for the uh, to splice into the hot coolant to go to the Vormax in the back. Well, what I did is I that T right there, you can only see part of it, it's right in the center of the screen with the clips on it. I rotate that T around and I brought this line up here and that goes into the wrap that I made for the 2, two micron Raycor filter. That goes around there and then that goes into the flat plate heater exchange which I bought on eBay for like 70 cents, 70, 70 dollars from like Omar sales. And then from there this top one right there which I haven't hooked up yet goes back and will be spliced into the hose that I had um, disconnected which I believe is right there. There's the end of it with the white around it. The rule of thumb is is the hottest 
coolant or radiator fluid goes into the closest point to the point of injection of the engine. So that means that the, this will be heated up first because this is getting the hottest water from the heater core into this and then from there it will flow into the flat plate, flat plate heater exchange. The reason is, is this is the last point before the oil goes into the engine, sands the vegetherm, but basically it will go through here and then in the engine. You want to get the, hot, the oil as hot as possible at the last possible moment. Okay, here we are, our usual setup. It's a day later. Just tested all the electric. As I said before, roughed in the plumbing. And then I went ahead and hooked up all the connections, make sure the valves function properly based on the new switch and the new three ports versus the six port Pollock. And now I'm about to put the cowling on and go ahead and finish it up more or less. And you're not going to be able to see too much, there's not too much light, but this is our main veggie diesel switch. This is a specific uh, switch to turn off the electric portion of the heating system, i.e. the veg therm and the injection line heaters. And then over here is a new switch we had, which is basically a purge switch. So it's getting a little complicated, um, but I'm the only one that drives the car. I believe there is an easier way to do it, as perhaps a three-position switch would maybe... Uh, fix that. Veggie diesel, electric on off and purge. So normally this this will be on normally and then when I so that when I throw this to veggie this is already on. I would only really turn this off if it gets based on the temperature if it gets really hot and I don't need to run it anymore. And then I would maybe purge. I'm going to put a sight glass in line and I would purge for whatever that sight glass tells me on the test. The benefit of that is, is it's putting the the oil that's in the line in the loop system back into the veggie tank and not contaminating the diesel. And here's my mess of uh, workings. Here's the cowling with the three, two three ports on it and there's a third three port for the purge system. And this is the cowling to go on and then I have some neoprene for insulation. I'll probably cover this in neoprene to keep the heat in. Okay here we are another day, another few hours later. I've uh, put the thing back together. I did start the car so it does start on diesel. Uh, by default, if everything's turned off, it runs on diesel. Um, I haven't gotten hot enough for the thermostat to kick in the check for the water leaks. The only thing I'm concerned about are some of my flare fittings. I had to make two flare fittings for this uh, coil there as to whether they're going to be any good, but time will tell. Here's the two solenoids, two three ports, and there's another three port down there that's kind of vertical in a bed of foam just sitting right there, kind of just suspend it fuel in, fuel type out, and then this is a purge. Depending on what position that switch is in, it will purge to the diesel tank or to the veggie tank. Again, by default, it goes to the, the diesel tank, except when this is engaged and that goes out to a loop. So there's no way I can really put, uh, by accident, put veggie oil in unless I don't purge it at the end into the uh, diesel tank.